Hey everyone, welcome back to our DC News, the best place to stay up to date with the latest DC information. And today we are talking about Green Lantern. A few weeks ago we heard that Kyle Chandler would be playing our Hal Jordan, but now it has been officially confirmed by DC Studios. Not only that, but Gunn also confirmed who will be playing Jon Stewart in the DCU. And it's fair to say people are loving who he has cast. So let's get into the update. So DC DC Studios co-head James Gunn tweeted out, Welcome to DC, Aaron Pierre. After a long and gruelling series of auditions, I am absolutely sure we've found an incredible Jon Stewart. So, Aaron Pierre is our Jon Stewart. Aaron is a 30-year-old English actor, well known for his recent performance in Rebel Ridge. Now, I haven't seen the movie yet, but people are loving his performance in it, so it sounds like they have picked the right man for the job. Don't worry, I will now go and watch the film after he has been cast in the show, but right now, let's take a look at what Max had to say. They tweeted out, Meet your lanterns. Aaron Pierre is Jon Stewart, and Kyle Chandler is Hal Jordan in the new HBO original series from DC Studios coming to Max soon. So, as I mentioned a second ago, Kyle Chandler has been confirmed as well. Now, I have to say that after Superman, this show is my most anticipated DCU project. I love the sound of this series, and I think they have got the casting pretty good. They also have reportedly got James Hawes, the director of Slow Horses, and Black Mirror to direct the first two episodes of the show. And they also have Chris Mundy, Damon Lindelof, and Tom King writing the series for HBO. Now, that is a big thing as well. Not produced by Max, but instead HBO, and that will mean the budget and quality should be even better. Not only that, I also also love the description of the show. The series follows new recruit Jon Stewart and lantern legend Hal Jordan, two intergalactic cops drawn into a dark, earth-based mystery as they investigate a murder in the American heartland. That sounds awesome, and I love that it will be a mix of tones throughout the DCU. I was worried that it will feel like a bit of a mess with so many differing tones, but actually thinking about how much I love the idea of the Superman movie being lighter, but also loving Loving the idea of the Lantern show being darker shows that I want differing tones in the DCU, so it shouldn't be an issue as long as it is executed well. Now for the Lantern show, it seems like Jon Stewart will be the main Green Lantern going forward, as in Hal Jordan will pass on the torch at some point in the show or the DCU in general. And whilst I really wanted to see Hal as the main Green Lantern, as we hadn't really seen it before in live action, I have seen even less of Jon Stewart in live action. He has never had his time to shine. We've had animated shows and movies, and of course the comics, but when it comes to live action TV or movies, I haven't seen a thing from him. So whilst in an ideal world, both would be there in their prime, clearly that isn't what they're going for in their story. But the beauty of the DCU is that time will be treated as it is in Star Wars. So we will jump back and forth throughout time to learn different stories, and this gives them more flexibility, and that also means we could see more of Hal Jordan through a prequel Green Lantern story. So, just because he may not have a lot of time in the present, doesn't mean we can't see more of him later on, through a prequel show or movie. Another worry people have are the costumes. Some people are judging this show on the costume that Guy Gardner has been spotted in on the Superman set. Do not worry. That costume is like that because it was designed by Maxwell Lord to show that he is a part of the Justice League International. So I think it looks bad on purpose to visually represent that that group is not a good idea or is run by someone who shouldn't be running them at all. But either way, that isn't the main Green Lantern suit. It has been confirmed that the main costume we see Guy Gardner in isn't the main costume for Green Lantern in general. So don't worry about the Lantern show. They will have comic accurate green costumes. And I think we will find out what they look like pretty soon too. They reportedly plan on starting production in early 2025, so we will probably get a glimpse of the suits on set, either as an official reveal, or if they are filming outside, then someone with a camera will capture them. Either way, I'm sure we will see their suits relatively soon. And this is exciting. I've been so focused on Superman that I've only really thought that this year and next will just mainly be Superman news and nothing else. But we have Creature Commandos at the end of this year, and Lanterns going into 
production soon too. And the same going for Supergirl, actually. And that means that we are going to have a lot to talk about moving forward. And I can't wait. Hopefully, all the final products will be great, but at least it feels nice to be excited for multiple DC projects that are all connected and thoroughly planned out. At the end of the DCEU, sure you had four movies in one year to look out for, but they had no interest in being connected to one another, and the quality just wasn't there. Whereas now, it seems like quality is a focus of theirs, and with Gunn ensuring a long-term plan is followed, it feels like DC is heading back on track. I'm not jumping the gun, and thinking everything is going to be amazing. I mean, I hope it is, but I'm not expecting that just yet. But I have to admit, I am very excited to see what the DCU has in store for us, and Lanterns sounds like it is going to be awesome. Now, with Jon Stewart being the younger of the two Lanterns, it is safe to assume that once a Justice League is formed, Jon will be the Lantern who is a part of it. Which I think is great, because the last Justice League we had was missing a Lantern, and was actually setting up for one or two to join them, but unfortunately we never got to see that. So hopefully with the DCU, we can have a Justice League with Jon Stewart a part of it. It also means our Superman and Green Lantern will be the same age, and I love that. It means you've got a lot of years ahead to develop their stories, and hopefully the rest of the League will be of similar ages so they can stay in the roles together for a similar length of time. I do think Batman will be older, as Brave and the Bold will be with the Bat family, so he must be in his late 30s, maybe early 40s or so, but that means you've got an experienced leader in Batman a bit like in the DCEU. But fortunately, I think we will be spending more time with this Batman. So now we have two of the Justice League members so far, but let me know who else you would like in the League as well. Also, let me know your thoughts on the official casting in the comments below. Now, one bit of unofficial casting news is from Nexus Point News, and they have said Kelly McDonald has been offered one of the female leads in Lanterns. She is set to play the town sheriff and Hal Jordan's love interest. It's uncertain if the role is an original character or Carol Ferris. Now, they are a hit and miss news outlet, so take this information with a pinch of salt, but I do want to know what you guys think about this. To me, this story is kind of giving me prime video Reacher vibes, where Reacher goes to a small town and has a love interest in the sheriff's department and a murder happens in this small town. Now, I love Reacher, so this series sounding like that show is great news to me, but so it looks like Kelly McDonald might play the town sheriff in the show if she accepts, but would you be happy with that choice? Let me know what you think in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of our DC News. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. I hope to see you here again next episode, so until then, I hope you have a great week. Bye!